Yo, what's good? It's all Entertainment TV, and we are back with a, another uh, Dead Frontier Road to 325 video. And, and I know what you're wondering. I know what you're wondering. Because I know a lot of you don't watch to the end of these videos, which, like I always say, is fine. Um, it, you know, you, you only watch as much as you want to watch, and then you click away, which is how life fucking works, pretty much. Uh, you get a girlfriend, you know, and, or a boyfriend, and you use them as much as you want to use them, and then throw them away. Apparently. No, it's like, no, <laughs> oh god, this is a perfect way to, to, uh, start off the video. Um, no, 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 it, it, it's fine. It, but a lot of you don't watch the end of the video, so I'm gonna explain right now what happened at the end of the last video. I pretty much sent a bunch of stuff from my old account, well, not old, I'm not gonna call it old, because I'm still gonna play on it. But uh, from my, my uh, Death From Above account, or my Soli Entertainment TV account, I pretty much sent myself stuff so that way I could do this mission down here. You know, the, the, the mission that was in the last video, uh, it was to kill 350 long arms or some shit like that. And I was there for like three or four minutes and I saw about two of them. So um, a lot of work needs to be done. I sent myself stuff so that way I could A, survive, which is why I sent myself the bioreactive. Uh, and B, do as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible, um, which is why I sent myself the SCAR 9000. Um, now, I, I, I stated in the last video, I'm, this doesn't have to be a permanent thing if, uh, if you guys don't want it to be. You know, all you have to do is comment on this video and be like, no, I think you should, you shouldn't give yourself, I mean, like, I'm going, I, you know, I'm going to give myself stuff, you know, like, uh, I need to be supplied with ammo, and, and this isn't really a looting account, it's a, it's a road to 325, so, um, you know, I'm not going to be looting that often, and uh, I'm going to need to be able to be supplied with ammo, and my other account is, you know, has plenty of money to supply me with that ammo, uh, so I'll send myself that kind of stuff, but if you personally don't think I should be sending myself, you know, expensive guns and whatnot, then, uh, then let me know, and, um, and I will, I will fix that up, but, um, hopefully, uh, and, and, and another question I asked at the end of the last video, which I'm going to ask in this video, just because I, I, I really want and need an answer to it, is, um, do you guys think that once I get to 325 on this account, do you think I should transfer ownership of the clan to me, to this account, and uh, switch up my name on this account and then use this account? Or do you think I should play still on my original Soli Entertainment TV account? Um, you know, because I had a lot of people, they, they, they asked me, and they were like, well, you're already level, you know, 100 and whatever on your uh your solely entertainment tv account why don't you just use that for the road to 325 and then, and i was like well because it's a road to 325 and i want you guys to see that road i want you to see how long it takes because i do play about every day um i want you guys to be able to see how long it takes not just you know it, it you know me start at level 130 or whatever i am on, on my on my main account um you know, you see the whole journey here, um, and I mean, granted, I'm not necessarily buying my own stuff and whatnot, but it, like I said, this isn't like a survival account, this is like a get the 325 account, um, and I could have just easily had bought the credits and then sold them, and then would have had enough money for this stuff, because I already have 120 machine gun, exp uh, machine gun proficiency, so, um, that's what. That's just the way I thought. I was like, you know, I, I you know, I, I could have had the money if I needed to to buy the weapon, but why would I buy a, a whole nother Scar 9000? I almost hit okay and almost fucking left and almost got creamed. You know, why would I buy another Scar 9000 if I already have one? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I decided I wasn't going to do that, and I just sent it to myself. But like I said, if you guys don't want me to keep it, uh, I will definitely send it back to my main account, and I will play this account out until I have enough money to uh, to buy one, um, which is perfectly fine. Okay, here we go. 350 long arms. There's really nowhere to kind of go per se. Um, there's just a lot of bullshit happening, and I'm already getting tons of fucking server problems. Uh, you know, 
things aren't dying as quickly as they, as they were before I had all these fucking nutball-ass people around me. Nice chainsaw, dude. That guy didn't explode, which means that guy with the chainsaw probably killed him. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You're not going to sit here and tell me there aren't server problems when it took me fucking how many bullets to kill that fucking guy? I mean, come on now. I haven't killed a single long arm. Granted, I've only been here for, you know, so long, but I, I, I haven't even seen one, uh, let alone killed one. Oops. Okay. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play out this, uh, this video until I either run out of bullets or I kill 350 long arms. And chances are the bullets are gonna come first, uh, considering I haven't seen one yet, um, but, uh, oh cool, that spider's fucking broken. <laughs> haven't seen one yet, haven't killed one yet, but I sure as hell have used, uh, almost 500 bullets. Um, I don't know where all these long arms are, but apparently they are very elusive. Excuse me. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, like, trap myself somewhere. Just because, I mean, with this Scar 9000, it shouldn't be that hard for me to kill things. I've already leveled up. Since we started, which is a good thing. Um, really hoping I can get four or five levels out of this so I can just fucking just upgrade my guy like a beast. Make it a lot easier for me to uh, to get shit done. Oh, my boy breakdancing over here. Okay. Took them out. Oh man, I wish I had my grenade launcher this, at this point. I'd have fucked them up like a decent grenade launcher. Um, I can have a grenade launcher. I just, it wouldn't be good. It'd be the fucking, like, the first grenade launcher possible. Yeah, go ahead, scream. I want you to scream so the way I can fucking attract some attention. Okay, so, as you can see, I've been here quite a while. I've killed quite a few zombies. Got a single long arm. I don't know who they think is playing this fucking game. It's an easy mission. Yeah, it'd be an easy mission if it was, like, kill 350 zombies. But, uh, you know, kill 350 long arms. Oh, oh my god, here's the first one. Boom, down. Oh, here's the second one. Now they're rolling in. The Kevin has died. Sorry, Kevin. You snooze, you fucking lose, man. Oh, hell yeah, three of these guys? That's hella experience. I think. I know they, I know they do give a lot of experience. So the jump up in damage, by the way, from the Vulcan and the Scar 9000 is very significant. Uh, the Vulcan does like 163 damage on average per second, while the Scar 9000 does like 259. So, uh, it, it, it definitely does quite a bit more damage, um, as well as with the uh, damage booster I have on and the EXP booster I have on. It, experience is going to be pretty, pretty heavy. Uh, hell yeah, long arms. Oh, I meant to... Um, Shit, I might go do that right now. I might, I might like, open up my map. Oh, here we go. Now they're fucking rolling in. Maybe you just have to sit here for a little bit, and then eventually more and more will continue to spawn. Which is fine with me, because like I said, I'm here for the experience, baby. But when, when you know, if you're something like a shotgun class, or a fucking, or, or, or you're a machine gun class, but you don't quite have the gusto of a SCAR 9000, it's going to take you fucking forever to find all of these long arms, man. It's like... You know, it should, if you're going to fucking have a mission for kill 350 long arms, they should be all over the place. But um, I've been here for a couple of minutes now, and I've only killed eight. I don't know if, they, if it's because there's other people around, and they were killing them, and now they're, like, starting to leave. And uh, so they're starting to find me more. But um, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't killed very many in the time I, the, that I've been, you know, that I've been here. Uh, but you know what? I am going. I'm gonna open up my map, and I'm gonna pause the video just because I want to check out the experience that the long arm gives you. Because I know it's, I it, it's more than what these normal guys and whatnot give you. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I did a little bit of research, and um, the long arm. The, just this normal one that you have to kill for this one, not like the, the really dark one that you see around uh, Second Round Bunker. It gives you 187 experience uh, per kill. 
Um, that's not, you know, not to mention, that's just like baseline. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say baseline because apparently when I say baseline, uh, that means nothing to some people. Uh, and you know who you are. Um, with no EXP boost, the regular long arm gives you 187 experience per kill. Uh, about 1.337 experience uh, per HP point. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I'm not on my other account. It takes me forever to fucking reload. Uh, so I'm like over here waiting for my gun to start shooting to kill that guy. And it just didn't happen. Um, but yeah, it, it, with no EXP boost, 187, uh, damage points or, or HP points, EXP points. Um, and everything other than, uh, as far as I can tell, other than like the spider, and the uh, Bloodhound, and then the Leaper, gives you at least a hundred less experience points per kill. Um, the Bloodhound gives you about 150 EXP per kill, um, and I'm not sure how much the Spider and the uh, Leaper give you. Uh, but all of like these normal mobs give you less experience. I believe any of these more like harder mobs, like the Leaper and the Exploder uh, and the Tendril, they, they don't, they give you roughly the same amount of experience as the long arm, but, um, if not more, because I think the leaper gives you more, and so do these guys, but, uh, all of the normal mobs, like these little crispy burnt motherfuckers right here, and these, uh, these little green zombies, the spitters, they give you at least a hundred less experience per kill, so to kill 350 of these long arms, uh, with just normal base, uh, uh, no EXP boost, at 187 experience per kill, that's quite a bit of experience. Uh, shit, what would that, what would that fucking be? Roughly 300 and, no, probably about 600,000 experience. Is it 600,000? I failed the third grade, y'all. And I'm really not, I'm, I'm really bad at math when I'm playing a video game. So 350, you know, uh, times 10, 3,500, times 100 would be 35. No, so it's not 650,000. It's without, you know, it's minus another zero. Um, it would be around 65,000. Right? I mean, I guess if you're at nourished you also get more experience so there's a lot of factors that, oh my god there's so many spitters here there's a lot of factors that go into uh whether or not like you're a gold member or you have any exp buffs uh anything like that a uh, lot of factors that go into it so i would say shit i would say just roughly uh, around seventy thousand experience which doesn't seem like a lot but it is um, especially for somebody that is my level, uh, but I would just like to find them. I don't know. I don't know where they're all at. Uh, it's just me and this one guy here. Oh, now another guy. Uh, oh yeah, I'll take that. Sure, why not? Well, this guy came out of nowhere. What's up, my dookie? Whoops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, sir. I just got hit twice by that same fucking spider. Because he didn't die. Then as far as when he's as far away from me as possible, he collapses. Oh, thanks for the $306, man. That's going to pay my medical bills. I actually think it is. As long as I have something to heal myself with. Uh, there's a guy in Fort Pastor right now who's got a really good deal on, uh, like, repairs and whatnot. And then there's another person who's got a really good deal on medical. So... If you're in Fort Pastor right now, shit, I would take advantage. Whoa. Not that you want to get hit. See, now you can't fucking, now that I, it takes me like eight and a half seconds to reload. You can't just fucking make me double reload. That's some bullshit. At least I think that's what happened. That's what I thought I heard. I thought my guy started reloading and then stopped reloading and then started reloading again. Which happens, but you can't be doing that when your boy ain't got no fucking, you know, it takes me forever to reload. Whoa. Okay, man. It, 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 it's getting fucking hectic. Uh, there's lots. I've been hit a couple of times, uh, mainly because I'm just a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, 
because uh, there's nothing really hard about this mission. <laughs> I'm just fucking rambling on and I'm losing track. I'm like constantly looking over at how many of these long arms that I've killed. Uh, does the does the I've never really had to go back for ammo on these kinds of missions, like kill so many bosses or, or something like that. So if I go back to the outpost to buy more ammo, I wouldn't think that the number would reset. So I think it's uh, it's all good, as long as um, as long as I, I come back and finish the mission, I should be able to go back and buy ammo. Oh, I have no fucking energy. How do I have no energy? What am I doing with my life? Oh my god, there's so many zombies here. I just flattened them all with this fucking Scar 9000. So this video, you know what? I might just fucking do this video till this mission's over, just so that way y'all can see just about how long it takes this fucking mission. Uh, I I don't know if I'm just having bad luck or, or what's going on with the spawns, but I have killed 23 fucking long arms so far. And uh, keep in mind, I have a Scar 9000. I should be tearing through... I mean, I am tearing through the competition, but... Uh, should be no reason why I haven't killed at least 200 fucking by now. And for me to have killed a tenth of that? Where the fuck are all these zombies at? You know? It's all like normal ass regular zombies. And they're not a part of the mission. How the fuck... Are you, I mean... If I had my normal account on right now, uh, along with the fucking mass amount of inventory space that I have, if I bought, for every inventory space that I have, if I bought 10,000 12.7 in the big stack, I don't even think I'd have enough fucking ammo for this mission. I don't. Uh, because it, it, I, I've used almost five, well, not quite 5,000, but close to 5,000 bullets. And I've killed 24 long arms. Again, I don't know if it's because my, you know, the spawns are shit for me right now, or if it's because all of these other guys are, are getting the kills. Uh, but I'm just not seeing them. I mean, there's three right here. This is the most I've seen in one area in a long fucking time. Uh, but it's it's just not fucking, oh my goodness. I should have been seeing th like 350 by now. Uh, I mean, I guess I can't really complain because it's this is uh, the best, you know, way for me to get, uh, for me to get, EXP because I'm just constantly it's like an outpost attack except at the end you don't get the little bit of extra experience you get but fucking other than that shit still a really good fucking clean way to get experience um for lower levels of course I mean if you were a higher level you would do some mission that's fucking second on bunker but um you know this is a this is a clean way to get experience I ain't gonna lie. Oh, there's another long armor over there. Oh, another one. Oh my goodness. See, now we're rolling. The game's listening to me. Uh, they can hear me through my computer monitor. <laughs> Look, we the fuck are talking shit about our game. I'm not talking shit. It's just, you know, I just thought I should have seen more by now, you know? It's like, damn. We never have enough ammo for this. At least not one take. But I'm sure you can go back and buy more ammo and come back here. Because, uh, I mean, it is an easy mission. <laughs> as long as you got the uh, as long as long you got the money and the ammo. And the time. Because this video is going to be uh, probably about an hour long. Uh, I guarantee it. And now that I'm, I'm you know, seeing a lot more of these guys, I don't want to fucking... Like, I don't want to have to leave. Because I'm afraid if I have to fucking leave, I'm going to have to wait for the spawns to get good again. Uh, so the way I can see more of them when I come back. But I definitely think we're gonna... Just judging on the fact that I, I leveled up just from getting here. Uh, and, and the amount of zombies I've killed so far. I think we're gonna level up quite a bit before we have to go back to the fucking... 
to the outpost. Um, ooh, no fucking energy again, because I'm, I'm, I'm quick to run around. But it's fine. I got, I have another piece of armor on me. Uh, cause, you know, now that I, now that I've been playing on the hardcore account, I don't, I don't go anywhere without two pieces of armor. <laughs> I want to get in there, man. I want to kill all those things before they fucking despawn. Cause I'm too far away or some shit. Uh, so I definitely want to get in there, but I'm gonna have to go around this way. My gun's practically full of ammo, so I'm just gonna take them all out, just like this. Do, 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 do. Oh, I don't want to kill that guy yet. <laughs> That would be a bad fucking decision if I killed that guy right off the bat. What are we at right now? 55? Okay, here we go. Now we're now we're pulling some traction. We're pulling traction right now. <laughs> I mean, just the, just the amount of leapers that I've killed and the amount of long arms and just everything else. I think I can get... Who in the fuck is this man with his super spit? His super spit. Uh, I think I'm going to get quite a few level ups um, out of this, personally, but, you know, you never know. Uh, if I could stop getting hit, I wouldn't have to worry about going back to the fucking outpost. But, since I suck dick, I can't do that. Um, I've been, I've been recording a lot lately. Uh, I just, I love fucking re recording for YouTube. Uh, just to know that that I'm not going to run out of a video to give you guys. Because there are some times where, you know, I'll go to bed one night and I'll be like, I'm going to wake up in the morning, I'm going to record a video, and I'm going to upload it. And then I'll wake up in the morning, and, uh, you know, my boss will call me and I'll be like, can you come in uh, today? I'll be like, sure, uh, what time? And they will be like, oh, open the clothes. You know, 8 in the morning till uh, 9.30 at night. And then it's like, well, how the fuck am I going to record now? <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, well, damn. It's nice to know that I can, you know, if they call me and they're like, can you come in today? I'll be like, sure, I can have a video on standby so that way I can start uploading it before I leave. And around 1 or 2 o'clock, it will be fully uploaded, rendered, and just, you know, processed, all that crap, and then uploaded. And then, uh... I can get all of your lovely comments when I'm at work, and then I can stare at my phone screen. And people ask me, and they're like, "Oh, what are you, you know, what are you looking at? You got no fucking friends, you know? What could you possibly be fucking looking at?" <laughs> like, oh no, it's my YouTube comments. Uh, people at my work, they do know that I that I do YouTube. Um, I don't know how much they care or whether or not any of them watch. I doubt that they do, because I work with a lot of older people. Well, not old. I'm not going to call them old. They're just older than me. <laughs> you know, uh, you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't think that, that they watch uh, YouTube that often. And if they did, I don't think that they're watching me, their co-worker, play a fucking uh, zombie game. But, um, yeah, they, they, but they definitely do know that I, uh, that I do YouTube. And they're, they're constantly talking to me about it, asking me, Oh, yo, how, how, how's your channel doing? I'm like, oh, it's doing pretty good. And I was actually going to buy, uh, when we hit 150 subscribers, I was going to buy uh, balloons. You know, one, uh, you know, one, five, zero. I was going to buy those. And I was going to, uh, <laughs> I was going to make a whole big deal out of it. Uh, you know, the balloons and whatnot. And I was like, do we sell, I was, do we sell number balloons? And I was like, yeah, we sell number balloons. Uh, because, like, nobody had asked them for me before, and they're not in a typical spot, so I had no idea whether or not we sold them. And, um, <laughs> I went and I looked. They were, like, fucking $5 a piece for one balloon. $5 a piece. Not to mention I had to pay them to fill the balloon. And they were fucking, like, four and a half foot tall. These balloons were huge. I was like, I don't need a balloon that fucking big. I need a balloon that's, like, 20 inches tall, man, and that can float. That's all I need that balloon for. Uh, so I wound up not getting the, uh, getting the balloons, because I was only going to use them, it was only going to be like a one-time thing, and I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with the balloons after that, but, oh, so I didn't get them. Uh, but I was like, yeah, Jesus Christ, huge fucking balloon, how's that the only number balloons that we sell? Here we go, now we're, now we're, we're seeing an increase. We're definitely seeing an increase in zombies. 
Oh, uh, fuck. Mm, I I can't get it. I can't get it. I thought I could get it. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Ah, shit. I'm gonna get it. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get it. My boy needs to stop attracting so much aggro for for ten seconds. I don't think I need ten seconds to type that out, but at least three. Had a zombie in my face as soon as I fucking said. I mean, I could have took a hit to get to you know to get it out there, but fuck that. I've already taken enough hits as it is. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My reputation is uh well, my reputation was never good. <laughs> I was such a fucking ass player. You know what's funny? Um. Somebody who, who who's really, really, really... Ooh, ooh. What the fuck, man? Come on, now. Get out of my fucking face. God damn it! Anybody else? Who's cooking good looking? Uh, somebody from the Scarlet Sentinels uh, watched my videos. I don't know how much... Of the video they watch, uh, I don't know if they you know would make it this far in this video, um, but somebody I I I, can't, I, I, I said in a different video that somebody from the Scarlet Sentinels had nearly <laughs> uh, whooped my ass, taken my life in the wasteland. Um, they mistook me for somebody else, uh, a rival clan member, um, and decided that they were going to toast me, and I, I got away. Barely, I had no fucking health left. Um, but I got away, and we kind of had a very short, short conversation outside of the uh, the wasteland where he couldn't hit me, and um, it was just like it 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 was just a normal, uh, regular ass fucking. Cause like I wasn't mad, uh, cause when he came out, you know, he was like, I thought you were somebody else. Uh, he still didn't know who I was. Um, at the at the time, um, but he was just like, I thought you were somebody else. Uh, good luck, you know, grinding in the wasteland. I was like, okay, man, cool. Uh, you know, good luck to you. But unfortunately, I have to go back to the outpost because you absolutely toasted all of my shit. And um, when I got back to the uh, outpost and I healed up all my stuff, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go back there. Just in case he's back there and 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 you know, he absolutely toasts my buns, but. Uh, I came back online about, I want to say maybe half an hour or so later, and he had actually sent me a message, and, you know, he was like, uh, you know, oh my god, he was like, how the fuck did that hit me, I swear to god on my mom, he was like, uh, you know, I didn't know it was you, he's like, I'm so sorry, he's like, I watch your videos, which is cool, um, but he was like, you know, I, I didn't know it was you, so somebody who's really, really good at the game, really good at the game. Um, I didn't, I didn't say his name just because I, you know, it's, it's none of my business to say people's, uh, gamer tags and, 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 you know, handles and whatnot. Um, but I, uh, he wound up putting his name in the, uh, in the comment section, which is fine, uh, to let me know who he was on YouTube and, uh, you know, who he was in game. So, uh... When he did that, I was like, you know, why are you... Not that I'm going to complain, because, you know, it, 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 you helped me, you know, you helped my YouTube channel grow just by watching and liking my videos. But how, why are you... I mean, because he's really good. He's level 325, you know, he's got dust shit, he's got dust shit, he's got money, he's got everything. Why are you watching my fucking lame ass play the game? I mean, like, I, I guess you could get bored of playing it yourself. You want to see somebody else play it, see what their experience is like. Um, but I'm not great. <laughs> and I'm not going to sit here and say that I am. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a, I'm a fuck. I'm the best Dead Frontier player. No. Not even close. Uh, I'm probably closer to the worst, some of the worst Dead Frontier players um, than I am to the some of the best Dead Frontier players. But um, I just, I, I, I. I just thought it was weird when, you know, he was like, oh, I watched your videos, and he's level 325 with all fucking dust shit and, and wraith cannons and shit, and 
absolutely killing the game, and then here he is watching, you know, my fucking lump of potato ass running around with a fucking Scar 9000. Uh, but I, I, I thought it was cool. Uh, it it, it kind of puts into perspective the, uh, you know, the kinds of people that, that watch my stuff, you know? It's like people from all over the world watch my stuff. All over the world. And and I, I know this because I can, uh, I can actually go into my, you know, my YouTube analytics and whatnot, and I can see where people are from, you know, the Philippines, Brazil, China, uh, Japan, Mongolia, you know, places like that, Russia, and then obviously the United States, um, but from people from all over the world, and I only have 203 subscribers, which is crazy, you know, and it's, you know, some YouTubers, they, they have tens of thousands of subscribers, and they don't have the kind of reach that I do in, in terms of, like, country. Sorry, my eye just started, like, hurting for a second. Like, I had fucking poked it or something. Did I poke my own eye? I don't think I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm real forgetful. Um, but yeah, man, I'm fucking... There's so many people from, from different countries, and it's crazy. It's amazing. And then, you know, the people that are... Level 325s, you know, people from level 20s to level 325s watch my content. And, uh, it, it, it really puts that kind of into, per I don't know what happened. But everything hated me real quick. I was like, J I'm just walking, and then all of a sudden, everything kind of hated me. Yeah, I have to go back to grab more ammo. I mean, I have .55 for my street dog, but I think I'm going to stick with the 12.7, and I need to heal with my dumb ass, so... We're going to keep track of how many times I level up. Uh, how many times I level up this time, and then how many times I level up next time. Wow, that almost hit me. Uh, but yeah, man, it's it's fucking crazy. And, and, and I thank you guys all the time uh, for allowing that to be a thing. Allowing my, you know, ugly-ass face and, and voice to be heard and seen around the world. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's quite a, a, a humbling uh, kind of experience to, to know that people from all walks of life, from all different countries, providence, provinces, states, oceans, you know, fucking Aquaman's watching me, you know, uh, uh, watch my stuff. And I only have 203 subscribers. I couldn't imagine if I had, like, 203,000 what kind of fucking people would be watching. Like, some far-off, uh, you know cult in some kind of, like, fucking Arabian desert that somehow has Wi-Fi. It's, like, watching my shit. And, that, and that's crazy to see, you know, and then you, you, you think about all the people who have, like, 10 million subscribers or 100 million fucking subs, and you're just like, what the fuck? Who is following you? Like, from where? They gotta be some random-ass dude, you know... When you have that many subscribers, I, if I had anywhere near that many, I would constantly be thinking about who is watching me from where and what they're doing. And the only thing I can think to myself is, well, I hope they have pants on. Because I don't want anybody watching my videos ass naked. Because uh, that kind of, that seems weird to me. Yeah, make sure you at least have some drawers on, you know, best to have pants on, even if it's like pajama pants, you know, it's like, I want to be comfy, it's my day off. Yeah, I get you, but put on some fucking pants, man. That's weird. Um, but, yeah, it, it's like some dude underground in a school bus, hiding from the world, because, you know, he thinks way back when fucking nuclear apocalypse happened, and hasn't seen the surface since. You know, some stupid, crazy shit like that. That would be funny. Like, 20 years down the road, nuclear apo apocalypse happens, and fucking... Some dude comments on this video, and it's like, Well, I know this video is 20 fucking years old, but you wouldn't guess where I'm at now. <laughs> that would be fucking... That would be... That would be some shit. And it's crazy, because I would have predicted a... Nuclear apocalypse in 20 years. Which is just most likely bound to happen. Damn! That's crazy. I have one new message. I don't know what it's from. That's seven fucking... What was that? Seven level ups? That's crazy, man. 
seven level up so far. I'm gonna upload, upload, I'm gonna upgrade reloading and whatnot so the way I can reload quicker. Uh, I'm gonna heal myself up and then uh, you know, repair my armor, buy more ammo, and I'll be right back. Okay. And we are back. I fully healed up and uh, did my armor. I did my armor. Fucked it real good. Um, I also bought a, a speed upgrade just so we, we can get down there quicker. Um, I'm much faster than this guy is. Was cooking good looking. Blow that guy the fuck up. So we still got the EXP boost, damage boost, and now we have the speed boost to boot. Um, and we're, we're just gonna get the fuck into this. Um, honestly, I, I, I have 9,000 more bullets, which wasn't cheap. Uh, it's probably, uh, well, I mean, it, it kind of was cheap, um, in terms of, I mean, buying 12.7 at fucking four pastor, I guess. Um, I mean, cause I've seen, I've seen 12.7 get pretty high, even at second on bunker. Um, I, there was a fucking time when 12.7 was like 40,000 fucking dollars per, you fucking, you weasel, you're a fucking weasel, man. I don't, I don't know why I didn't see that coming, but I didn't. Yeah, I remember there was a time, uh, when fucking 12.7 was like 40,000, and it was that way for like two and a half weeks. It stayed that way for a long fucking time, man. Uh, maybe I should have brought a fucking claw hammer. I just build an outpost. Bam. Level myself up and just go right back out to where I needed to be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go right back out to where I needed to be. Um, I showed the, I showed the stat upgrade. Yeah, y'all know that I, I upgraded explosives and, uh, my reloading. So the way I can just, again, pump out more fucking damage. Um. I'm, I'm. I don't know if I'm gonna do critical hit, uh, just because, uh, chances are I'm gonna be using, well, I'm definitely going to be using shotguns, explosives, and machine guns, and with the, me having the SCAR 9000, uh, or, you know, I, I'm going to have a SCAR 9000 eventually, uh, but I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this time, uh, that's completely up to you guys, but, um, when I have the SCAR 9000 and, and the shotgun and the explosive, it's not really going to be... I'm not going to need critical hit because the it's basically impossible to get decent critical hit with the SCAR 9000. And then it is impossible to get a critical hit with the shotgun and whatnot. So it just really wouldn't be worth it to even do anything in critical hit. Uh, if I have any critical hit at all, it'll come from fucking, uh, having master crafted, uh, guns. Which I think for this account, uh, especially if I'm gonna start using this as my main account, I'm just gonna fucking god craft everything. Might as well, right? Like, if I have the, uh, the guns that I think I'm gonna have and they're as good as they're gonna get... Uh, I might as well just god craft every fucking thing. I shouldn't do that, but I do it anyway, just because I'm a fucking imbecile. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, 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 if it, when I upload this video, if you guys are like, oh yeah, no, just use this as your main account, swap everything over in the clan section, and uh, change your name, that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, you know, it... it, it, it <laughs> I might as well as God craft everything, uh, except armor, it, it, because it, it, as far as <laughs> as far as machine guns go, I think the Scar Nine Thousand is about as good as it's gonna get for me, uh, because I don't have five hundred fucking dollars to shell out on an unlimited wraith cannon. Um, unless you know, maybe I I buy a lottery ticket, scratch it off, win a grand or something, and then of course my stupid ass would go and do something like buy five hundred dollars worth of fucking unlimited wraith cannon. Um, it's pretty much scar nine thousand is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. Uh, I could maybe eventually loot and 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 find enough to get like a gall nineteen maybe. Um, but at that point, it would it would cost me fucking less than ten bucks to get enough credits to uh, 
to God crafted. So if it's not already God crafted, but um, yeah, I don't think because uh, a Gaul nineteen, if if because I mean, if you buy one with money anyway, you can't get one that's uh, unlimited ammo. But um, in terms of having it, it's only the price of it currently is only about 3,000 credits uh, in terms of money. You know, when you convert the credits into money, so that way you can buy the unlimited, uh, or not the unlimited rate cannon, but the Call 19. It's only about 3,000 credits, which isn't bad. Because um, I believe it's about 70 million dollars. Uh, so... It's not too bad. It's about 3,600 credits. You know, that's doable, I guess. Um, I mean, I guess I could, uh, I could buy 3,600 credits. It's about 100 bucks for 4,000. Uh, so I guess I could, I mean, I could buy that much. Then I gotta wait for them to sell. And then once I sell them, I have to fucking, I have to buy the damn thing, which is gonna be just heartbreaking. Uh, 12.7, I'm not worried about buying, you know, I was like, oh, you know, get the unlimited rate cannon, so that way you don't have to buy ammo. Well, I'm not really that worried about buying ammo. Uh, if I, if you have something that does that much damage, then you should be alright, because the, the, the damage upgrade from just the Scar 9000 to the Gaul 19 is fucking insane. It's like 100 damage points per second. Uh, and I, I don't know what the, the hit rate, like, like, per hit is, but, um... It's close to about 100 more per second. And the fucking... I mean, the Unlimited Wraith Cannon almost almost does uh, 500 fucking damage per second, which is crazy. Uh, it's about double. Well, if it did 500, which it doesn't quite do 500, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's almost double the fucking... The damage of the Scar 9000, which is why I get creamed all the time in, uh, in the arena. I, usually I just go into the arena to fuck around because when you die you don't really die you come back to life uh, I mean I guess it's kind of a waste of ammo but like I said I'm not I'm not that worried about buying ammo oh god I'm currently at 151 um, and it looks like I'm gonna have to be here again for a long time before I start seeing quite a few more of these uh, these zombies I'm the only one here oh no somebody there's somebody here Oh, no, he just left, too. I'm the only one here. Uh, so, if there's any long arms, they, sh they should be coming to me. They should be uh, should be coming to me any any second now. Uh, it's looking like my ag like the aggro spike is going down. I don't understand how that's, how that's a thing. Hello? Where's all my motherfucking enemies? I want to have constant... I want to be constantly struggling to for my life. You know what I'm saying? I want that many enemies on my screen. I want to be in a constant struggle for my life. Just so the way I can keep the damage output and the EXP output going. I want to intake all that fucking EXP so the way I can level up as many times as possible. And then once I get explosives, really the only reason why I'm doing explosives is so that way I can sit behind a wall and kill whatever I want. <laughs> you know, don't really have to worry too much about, uh, about what comes behind you. And then you have the, you know, you got your machine gun in case something does come behind you. You know, something simple like a junker, uh, I would have, if I, if the exploder was transferable, I would have, uh, transferred that because it is better than the junker. Um... It has a higher damage output per second than the Junker. I mean, it, it doesn't do as much damage per hit, but it has a higher damage output per second because the fucking Exploder is like, do, 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 do. It's crazy how fucking quick that thing shoots. Um, maybe I should stop looting. Maybe the reason why I'm, I'm losing aggro is because I'm looting. That would make a lot of sense. I'm finding a lot better stuff now, too, in terms of, like, uh... Well, the items that I'm finding. Finding a lot better stuff, like point fifty. I wasn't finding that, you know, while I was looting earlier. So, uh, yeah, 
definitely, definitely doing this thing. Now, I don't know if since I accepted this quest before I was a gold member, if I'm still going to get 110,000 experience from it. I don't know how that works. Uh, but if I do complete this and I do get the gold member bonus, I will get 220,000 experience for this mission. Not to mention the abundance of experience I've already gotten uh, from doing this. So gonna be it's gonna be pretty good I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna be level 50 plus maybe I don't remember what level I left off on I know we gained seven levels but I don't remember what level we left off on I didn't really look at it it's level 36 or 38 something like that uh, so there's still quite a few levels for me to go but I mean we might fucking reach level 50 in this uh, in this episode it's gonna be a long episode episode but you know, I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna reach some shit, and it doesn't take me anywhere near as long to reload now, which is great. So the way I can reload and get back to shooting. That's the whole reason why you go machine guns, especially if you're doing a road to 325. I mean, essentially, really, if you if you think about it, there really is no point of me getting to 325 and then playing on my other account. I mean, I'll have everything I would need in on this account, you know, all of the uh, all of the proficiency points and the you know ability points, blah 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 blah. Uh, I'll have as many as I can get on my road to 325. Um, but I mean, I think when I do, uh, I'm also a lawyer, so I get more experience from that. I forgot to mention that. Well, I mentioned it when I started the gameplay. Uh, and you can see it every time I go on my, my screen, but, um, I forgot to, I forgot to mention that. I also, I'm a lawyer, so I get more experience. Um, and the reason why I picked a lawyer is because I got a little tidbit of information from a fan who recommended that I should go lawyer, uh, because you get more experience and you just change it, uh, you know, when you're 325. So when I'm 325... I'm thinking I'm going to change my class to, like, a soldier or something like that. Just because I'm not going to need the experience anymore. And, um... Now that there's people to fuck around me, it, these the zombies aren't dying. Like, this fucking zombie right here. I don't, I don't like that. I really want you guys to, like, skip the fuck out and go somewhere else. Please. I don't want you near me. Uh... But, yeah, it... it uh, I'm thinking about when I reach 325, I'm not going to need any more experience or anything like that. So I think I'm going to switch to be a soldier just so the way I can get as many ability points as I can. Um, whichever class gives you more uh, more ability points, I will, I'm going to think I'm, I'm going I'm to switch to. Because uh, when you're level 325, you can't have fully maxed out stats. Um, you'll have as many stats as you'll be able to get. But, uh, you know, you won't have 120 of everything or 100 of every uh, proficiency. Um, so, and, and that's what I want to have, you know, to God craft all your shit and have 100 uh, on each proficiency. You just be 124 on everything. Be fucking unstoppable. Uh, but... It's it, it, it's gonna take a while for me to get to 325 anyway. This episode, this series is gonna go on for for quite a long time. Um, I plan on probably after this video, I'm probably gonna go to either Precinct 13 or Fort Pastor, or not Fort Pastor, Second on Bunker. I don't know if Second on if uh, Precinct 13 is harder than Fort Pastor though. That's my thing. Like I don't know if necessarily I mean do you get more experience from the missions down there I'll have to look that up uh, because obviously I want to go wherever the experience is um, and 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 definitely do the missions because that's that's how I'm gonna get all my experience mostly is uh, from doing the missions because when you do missions you just constantly have a, a, a constant flow of Zombies towards your direction. I mean, I guess you could go boss hunting, but then you gotta you gotta watch out for the boss, and uh, 
you know, I'm not I'm not very good at that when I have to run everywhere and, 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 and get my shit pushed in. I get my shit pushed in very, very quickly. So, you know. I don't normally do missions. That's why I'm that's why I've been playing Dead Frontier for fucking seven years and I only have a character that's leveled. The highest I've ever gotten is the current character I'm playing. Uh, on my uh, on my main account, so, and he's like 136. That's the highest I've ever gotten character-wise, because I'm I was more or less into looting and not grinding. Um, so it's definitely going to be quite an interesting gameplay uh, aspect for me, which is why I I I keep doing these videos because they're, they're and I can't stop fucking recording them. Because it's just like, I want to get back on, and I want to play more of this one, or I want to play more hardcore. You know, so, it's just different aspects of the game, and it'll really help me uh, become a better player. Especially, you know, hardcore mode, I'm constantly dodging, constantly trying to uh, avoid getting hit, and, 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 you know, things like that. You know, finding different ways to sneak around zombies, and fucking... Uh, you know, miss, get missed by spitters and shit like that. Uh, so it's definitely helping me in that sense. And then this is helping me just to fucking figure out, you know, the best ways to level up and, 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 and best damage outputs and shit like that. And then my main account is just straight up for playing with you guys. You know, that's, that's what I like to do. I haven't played with you guys in a minute. And a lot of you, a lot of you have told me, it's like, hey man, you ain't fucking play with us in a minute. And I know, I know. Uh, work has been dropping a lot of stuff on me. Uh, you know, like I said, they, they reduced my schedule, but they, they pretty much did it just because uh, they didn't want to give me a certain amount of hours in case somebody else called off. Because if somebody else called off, they were going to need me to fill in their place. Um, so they've been dropping a lot of stuff on me, and when I fill in, it's usually for long hours. I can't... If I wake up in the morning and have to go to work 8 to 5, you know, 8 in the morning, 5 in the afternoon... If I don't have a video pre-recorded, I'm not uploading a video that day. Just because I'd have to come home, get everything set up to record. Uh, then I'd have to record, and, and and we'll say the video's you know half an hour long. So and 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 if I have to walk home, I walk two and a half miles to and from work. Um. So it's definitely no short walk. It takes me about 45 minutes to walk that long so if i have to walk home after i get done at five o'clock that means i'm not getting home until 5 45 then i have to get everything all set up and then i'll probably start recording by six o'clock then i have to record about half an hour which leads to 6 30 then i have to edit which will be done probably around 6 45 ish because i i i mainly i don't edit a whole lot in these because i like you guys to see mostly everything I cannot fucking believe that happened. I don't even know what happened. Uh, my game kind of like fucking flew me across the map. And then all of a sudden I was in between the gooch of this fucking, you know, of the spider. But, um, you know, I like you guys to see mostly everything. Uh, so that'll probably just take about 15 minutes to process and render and edit. You know, I put the my outro in. Uh, and then, then I have to upload it. And that takes about half an hour. So by the time that video gets uploaded, it's going to be past fucking like 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And uh, most of you are, like I said, in different countries. And you're not even the fuck awake to watch. Um, so, you know, it, 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 there's definitely some, some things. So that's why I record in advance. But... You know, if I get to a thousand subscribers and I get to four thousand watch hours and whatnot, and we keep on an incline from there, I can quit my job, <laughs> and I can do YouTube full time, which is the plan. Because if I can do YouTube full time, I can put more time into editing and and you know making better content. Uh, but as of right now, you know, work really just. You know, they just call me out whenever. It's like, can you come in? And I'm like, I could say no, but I'm not that kind of person, man. I don't know. I just, I, I, I can't, I, I cannot do it. When somebody, when, when they call me up and they're like, oh, you know, can you come into work? In my mind, I'm like, no, 
no, I can't because I really have to work out and fucking and record for YouTube. A lot of people are fucking dying, but that's fine with me because I'm seeing a lot more of these long arms. Uh, you know, it's like, no, I gotta work out. I gotta record for YouTube. I gotta fucking edit it. I gotta shower. I gotta fucking, you know, I gotta live a life. Um, but then I'm like, yeah, no, I can make it in. What time do you need me there till? I like they don't even tell me what time they need me till. <laughs> It's like, can you come in? And it's it, once I say yes or no, then they explain to me what time they need me to. Like, it, like I, I think I've only ever said no one time to coming into work, and it was because they have me bounce around to different stores, and the store they wanted me in was seven miles away. You know, my store is two and a half miles, seven miles. Now I could walk that. Don't get me wrong, I've walked. Several, I've I've probably walked seven miles in one day at one time, several times in my life, just, you know, doing various fucking things. But it would take me, like, four fucking hours to walk that, you know, that far. Uh, then I'd be fucking exhausted and then have to stand on my feet for fucking eight and a half hours and then have to walk all the way back. And that, that's pretty much a full fucking day when you, you know, that's 16 hours. Uh... So, that's just not something that I was capable of doing at the time, you know? Because, I, again, I still had to come home and record for YouTube and fucking do things. And I was like, you know what? No, nah, I'm not going to be able to make it over there. If you want me here at this building, yeah, no, I can make it. But um, I'm not going to be able to make it down there. Sorry. I'm at 253. In the last episode, I said I was not going to, to make this, uh, this thing. This was never going to get done. But all I needed was a little, I, would, I needed a little stat reset and a little bit of help from my other character, uh, in terms of the gun. And, um, here we are now. Oh my god, who the fuck just messaged me? That scared the shit out of me. That absolutely terrified me. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, cause I don't get messages. <laughs> so when it went off, it, it, it kick-started my heart. No, sorry. Um, it was my, uh brothers oh, baby, oh, oh my niece's mother uh she likes to send me pictures of my niece and i like to receive them because i like my niece she's cute very cute if i if if, if we ever get her back down here because like for those of you who don't know the living situation uh between me and my my older brother and my niece and all that we live about 250 miles apart uh you know so it, it, it to drive <laughs> you know 60 miles a fucking hour or, or eight miles. no I don't think it's I don't think it's 250 I think it's actually a lot less than that but it's pretty far it's like a three hour drive um, just to get there and then bring her back so it's like six hours just to get her there uh, just to get her from there and bring her back um, so like 60 miles an hour so it's probably like 140 miles roughly um, I don't know why I said 250. I was just like, the fucking, that, that just popped up in my mind. I was like, 250. It's 250 fucking miles away. Uh, you know, it's probably more or less like 140, which is still a, a, a fucking long-ass ways. Um, so I don't get to see her whenever I want. If I got to see her whenever I wanted to, I'd be a lot happier in life because, you know, she absolutely brightens up my day. I can't stop fucking smiling when I'm, when I'm around her. She's so cute. Uh, you know, when she's not trying to take my head off with various Lego blocks, because she loves to throw things. Um, you know, she, she really is cute. Uh, man, people are fucking dying all over the place. Um, but yeah, she likes to send me pictures. That's all, that's all we really do. I, we don't talk. <laughs> she just kind of sends me pictures, and I comment on how cute they are, and, you know, whatever fucking, whatever she's wearing. And then, uh... You know, she's like, yeah, you know, she's always happy. Because she's always happy. I mean, like, you know, like like any baby, she cries sometimes. But yeah, she's always fucking happy. She always got a smile on her face. She's always taking naps. Maybe that's why she's always happy. If I could fucking sleep all the time, man, I'd be a happy motherfucker. Let me tell you something. Uh, but yeah, she's really cute. So, chances are, if you hear a ding in my videos, it's from her or uh, or my older brother. Uh, and he's probably like, texting me, telling me about how fucking, you know, how sick, gnarly, fucking, you know, lighting a fire in the woods was. I, I doubt he's made it this far <laughs> in the video, uh, because he doesn't, he doesn't watch all of my videos, and he definitely doesn't watch the whole thing. 
Uh, but, you know, he... For anybody who's made it this far into the video, you're going to get a special sort of short little story time type joint. Um, it's not really a story time because it didn't happen to me, but... And it's just kind of a little bit of tiff and, you know, a little tidbit of information. My brother... Uh... <laughs> Almost went to jail, almost went to prison, uh, because he had lit a fire in the woods. Now, for some of you, because you, you, you know, a lot of you live in different countries, for some of you, that's normal. You're like, light a fire in the fucking woods. What? Come on now, as long as it's controlled and everything, you know, that shouldn't be a big deal. But here in America and Pennsylvania, apparently, that is illegal uh, to light a fire in the woods. Um, you know, on, on public property, I think it is illegal. I don't know exactly what the rules are, but you can, like, you can light a fire in your backyard, uh, as long as it's controlled, but in the woods, no, nope, you can't do that, apparently, uh, and they made sure it was controlled, they built a little fire pit out of rocks, and they were right next to the fucking river, um, so God forbid anything had fucking happened, they were right next to a river, and, uh, the cop did a really lousy fucking job. He came through, and, I mean, like, they were a little bit younger, but they came through, and he, you know, he let them go because they were young and dumb. Uh, but then they subpoenaed him. <laughs> he got a letter in the mail telling him he was gonna have to go to court, and if he didn't, he would be arrested. And, I mean, they dropped all the charges just because the cop had let them go, but then told them that they were, you know, sent them a letter telling them that they were going to fucking prison. Or, well, they weren't going to prison, but they had to go to court to fight it. Uh, so he did a really lousy job. Fuck him. You know, uh, lousy-ass fucking police officer. I don't know his name, uh, and he'll probably never see this, but you're a fucking piece of shit. Uh, you should, you know, you should do better at your job. But, um, yeah, he almost went, he almost went to fucking jail for that. Uh, so, if you, if you come to, Pen if you come to America and you come to Pennsylvania, don't be lighting fires. Because uh, you could be arrested for it, no matter how innocent it might be. You know, you could you could have it all under control. Do not light no fucking fires. They will they will cap your ass for it. They won't even tell you you're going to jail. They'll tell you you're fine, and they'll tell you to leave, and then they'll fucking send you a letter in the mail that you're going to jail. Uh, so yeah, that's how that's how that works. <laughs> it was funny though. You know, he he really wasn't that concerned about it because. You know, he, he knew he didn't fucking do anything wrong, and I wasn't that concerned about it, but I was like, you know, he could have spent, he could have spent 30 days in jail. 30 days in jail and a $2,500 fine for lighting a fire next to a river. Hey, I don't make the laws, so. I couldn't say nothing. It was the stupidest thing I've ever fucking heard, but, you know, I can't say nothing. We're almost done, though. Almost done. Uh, so that was a quick little story time type thing for him at least, you know, shout out to him uh, for being an idiot, you know. I guess he doesn't have a backyard, so can't light a fire in his backyard, but don't be fucking lighting fires in the woods. Uh, but it was the stupidest fucking thing that he told him, no, you're fine, go ahead, you know, no damage was done, and then fucking sent him a letter in the mail. No, you're going to court, and if you fucking, if they find you guilty, you're going to jail. Um... Well, I guess the maximum penalty would, you know, you could face up to 30 days in jail. Uh, so he could have faced no jail time and just gotten a fine, or he could have faced maximum jail time and got no fine, or, you know, it, it, it's just how the system works. But, you know, he could have faced max penalty, which would have been 30 days in jail and a fucking $2,500 fine for lighting a small fire in the woods. And I tried to kick his ass because he, you know, he's not very great with money. Uh, it's not to say he's broke all the time. Well, no, he's broke all the time. But that's not to say he doesn't have it. Like a, he, he has a job. He has a very well, very well, uh, paying job. He just spends it, all his money on a lot of stupid shit. And uh, if he sees this, he already knows that's how I feel. <laughs> yeah, you know, I tell it to him all the time. It's like you should save your money. You know, save your money. Get a laptop. Make gaming videos. You know, we could game together. And uh, you know. He's just like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save money. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a laptop. Don't worry, don't stress, don't stress, or a desktop, whatever he wants to get. I'm gonna get one. Don't stress. Yeah, it's been. Uh, last time he told me that was um, like four fucking years ago. 
So, is what it is. I'll record by myself. I have y'all to play with. The only problem is, is I can't hear you guys. I don't know why my recording software doesn't pick up the Discord. But if I ever do play with you guys again, which I will. I don't know why I said if I ever. Because uh, I definitely will. Uh, but when I do play with you guys again, I'm going to have to turn my volume up all the way on my computer. Just so that way, at least you can hear the sound coming from the computer from the mic. Um, so that way... Uh, you can hear what other people are saying because I, I recorded a couple of videos with, with you guys and I, I, I wound up deleting them just because I mean like I couldn't hear what you guys were saying and that nothing really interesting happened in the videos um, but I definitely do want to record uh, and, and play with you guys um, I don't think I've, I don't think I've uploaded a single video you know I think I have uploaded a video or two of me uh, like grinding with you guys but i've done a lot more than that uh you know i there were times i mean i was on two three weeks ago i was on for like fucking five or six hours just straight up playing with you guys uh looting fighting bosses uh which i mean fighting bosses was kind of anticlimactic because it was the same three bosses because it was during the fucking christmas event uh but yeah, so it's like I'm usually when I play this game and I have some some free time, I'm on this game for a, a very long time. So I definitely want to get back in touch and, and, and play with you guys. So maybe I'll do that. Uh, I work tomorrow and Saturday, so maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe I'll do that Sunday if I don't work Sunday. I don't know if I work Sunday or not. My schedule isn't out yet. I just know I work Saturday for a fact because they always need me on Saturdays. So I'm probably going to peel out the rest of this ammo. Oh man, I'm tired of y'all. You see this stretch right here? Oh, that's the stretch of a tired man. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, they always need me on, on Saturdays, so I know for a fact I work, but I just don't know if I work on Sundays. But if I do, I'll probably get in touch with you guys Monday. Once I know what my, my schedule is going to be like, I'll, uh, I'll send out a message in the Discord that I have. For those of you who don't know, I do have a Discord. Uh, I will link it in this video, and then I'll try to link it in as many videos as I can uh, from here on out. But, you know, I copy and paste a lot of things during the day, and, you know, I have to copy and paste the Discord again and, uh, you know, and, and, and keep putting it in. And sometimes I just forget, and, you know, it's like I, I'm in a rush, I need to upload a video, so bam, here it is. Uh, and I, I just forget to put the Discord, but uh, I do have a Discord. And um, that's pretty much how I talk to you guys. Most of the people I talk to are on Discord. I have a couple of people that, that are friends with me on Steam. And, uh, and, 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 and like, I talk to a couple of people on YouTube through comments and et cetera, et cetera. But uh, most of the people I talk to uh, are in the Discord. And I would say there's probably 10 to 12 of you who are in the Discord. And um, we talk sometimes just about problems with the games or things we might have found uh or just random life shit uh you know a lot of you ask me what the next video is going to be uh you know ask me for advice and some of you talk to me about my personal problems uh and you listen to me bitch and complain about my personal problems uh in life and then you know you reciprocate and i listen to you uh and, and your personal problems I and mean, we just have this kind of mutual respect for each other, and then, uh, I try to keep everything as friendly as possible, um, though, so, if, if you come into Discord, my Discord, and you have some kind of problem with somebody in there, it's either gonna have to be squashed, or one of you is gonna have to leave, and I'm not going to pick whoever, I'm not gonna pick whoever leaves based on whoever's been there the longest, you know, I don't care how long you've been there, uh, you know, it, it, it's a judgment-free and a, it's a friendly fucking place. Uh, you know, there's not going to be any harassment or anything like that. If, if, if I see that you're the one who started it, I'll kick you out. If you can't, uh, you know, if you can't 
control yourself and, 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 and act like a civil human being and be nice, then I'll kick you out. It's just gonna have to be what it is. Uh, Outpost is under attack. Fucking sick. Should I participate? Uh, I mean, I'm already kind of participating a little bit, but should I go buy some more 12.7 and part like actually seriously participate in in this? Uh, we'll see. We'll see how many times I level up and uh, you know what else I need to do and how long this video is. But um, oh my god, there's really a lot of fucking a lot of shit going down. Well, there's so many people outside. Oh my god. What you got? What's that like? A that looks like it might be a hammerhead or an M16. That guy's got a UMP, or it could be a Santa's little helper. You never know. It looks like a fucking MP5. Um, but yeah, just just act civil. If you're gonna if you're gonna get into the Discord, just act civil. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so I got 220,000 experience from it. Damn, and we leveled up five more times from that. That's crazy. Pumping in the fucking reloading, man. I got 90 reloading now. Mm, do I really need that much, though? Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll, I'll continue to level up, and then I'll add it into, like, endurance, and then accuracy. Accuracy is not going to really matter in terms of, uh, like, the explosive and the shotgun. I mean, shotgun a little bit, but the explosive, it's, it's a fucking explosive. And then, you know, I could use a little bit of accuracy, I guess, for my... Uh, my machine guns, but uh, especially if I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do endurance first, and then I'll probably get agility up to a hundred. I'll get this up to a hundred, and then endurance probably up to a hundred, and then I'll work on accuracy because I'm not going to be concerned with critical hit at all, <laughs> not at all. Uh, Eventually, I'm going to get this to 120 explosive skill, and then I'll work on the shotgun aspect of it. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted. 220,000 experience from that. Oh, wow. Now we need 500,000 experience. Though. So we didn't get we didn't get level uh, 50, which is fine. We still leveled up, what, 13 times? Seven? Oh, no. Seven plus five is definitely twelve. I forgot how many times we uploaded. We, we uh, leveled up last time. So we went from level 29 to 41 just during, just doing that. So that was pretty good. That was a big jump up from, uh, from where we were at last time. And uh, I, I'll continue to uh, grind off screen. Uh, but this video is currently an hour and 12 minutes long. So I probably should end it. Um, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, the subscribe button, hit the share button. Definitely leave a comment, positive, negative, does bother me. I just want to see some feedback. And uh, if you enjoyed that much and you don't want to miss any more of this or anything that I might upload in the future, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications so we can notify every time I upload a video because you're not going to miss what is next. Thank you guys so much for watching.